Hello there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be discussing uh, some predictions that I've got in terms of the future expansion of the World of David Williams area at the Alton Towns Resort. Now we do have an update as well coming later this evening from Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, uh, so stay tuned for that video, uh, but this one's all about the World of David Williams, and... Uh, this is a very interesting one because obviously we know that the World of David Williams is now open uh, with Gangster Granny the Ride as well as the Roll Carousel and Raja's Bouncy Bottom Bap. But there is several rooms for expansion of this land and I'm going to give you three sites of expansion. What I, what I think could be going into each site. So, before we get started, guys, please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another theme park YouTube video. We're on the road to uh, 3,000 subs. We're sort of towards the, uh, well, we're, we're past the, the quarter of the waypoint. Uh, we're almost towards the halfway point now. Uh, so, it'd be really appreciated if we got there as soon as possible. Also, guys, go and check the description down below for social media links and Google Forms where you can submit your own video ideas for the channel. It'd be really nice to get loads of them in so we can uh, film them all over the summer. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the world David Williams and what I think could be the three potential areas of expansion for the area. So area number one already on your screen, it's pretty obvious exactly what this was going to be, and that is Cuckoo Cars Driving School. Uh, this was a 2017 refurbished uh, attraction, of course, originally opened uh, way back, way back in, what, 2006, uh, when the vintage cars were removed from the park. Uh, 2007, I think it was. Um, it was 2006, 2007, around that time. And, of course, replaced the old vintage cars attraction at the park. Um, and I think that, you know, this has been a, originally opened as the Piorgio Driving School. And I think this is a classic attraction for families at the Alton Towers Resort, the classic Alton Towers Resort. Of course, living through the last couple of years at Cred Street and then all the way through Cal Cuckoo Land's uh, lifespan. Uh, of course, Cal Cuckoo Land then received loads of setbacks in its ride offering after 2015, uh, with Charlie closed, Ice Age 4D closed, Wobble World closed, closed, Twirling Toadstool gone, you know, it, it, it suffered major, major setbacks that area. Uh, however, I do personally feel like uh, Cuckoo Cars Driving School will get a retheme at some point. Uh, what it will be too, we don't know. I mean, we, we never know at this stage. I mean, in terms of, obviously, you know, we, we, we talked about the David Williams area, we know that Gangster Grand of the Ride's the, the main ride, you know, you've got um, you know, Raj's Bounty Bottom Burp sort of based on, uh, you know, the Raj character in many of the film adaptations uh, of the books as well. Uh, and you've also got uh, the Royal Carousel, which is obviously, you know, again, a Gangster Granny kind of theme. Uh, and you've also got uh, Flavio's uh, Fantastic Fandango, which is, of course, uh, the main dance teacher from the, from, from the that particular story. Uh, and with that sort of classic uh, Sizzler attraction. So, I mean, you know, it's very Gangster Granny circulator, but there are sort of, you know, obviously, um, you know, references to, to other Dead Williams books. Um, now, obviously, I mean, there, there is definitely some some other books they could go for. I mean, they could go for uh, the Midnight Gang, and they could theme the cars to, like, uh, beds, and it's sort of like uh, beds on wheels, and it's sort of travelling around this fantasy uh, area kind of thing. Maybe they'll go with that for, if they're going to retheme the driving school. Or maybe they go with Grandpa's Great Escape and theme them to little planes, and it's sort of, you know, you're sort of driving these planes on ground level around the this like airfield I guess uh, so that would be that would be a bad thing now of course one other thing they could do with the land is to actually remove the driving school entirely and this looks back to the grandpa's great escape theme they could go with like a, a, a flying scooters type ride like a flying scooter swing ride uh, if they want to remove the driving school from the park so there's so there's ways to retheme it and there's ways to remove it and replace it so I think that there's 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 room there with 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 the driving school for whichever and uh, it should be interesting to see what actually becomes of that attraction. Next up, attraction area number two, and that is the theatre space, of course, the former Ice Age 4D site. Uh, now, this one is a very interesting debate because, of course, you could do a couple of different things with it. You could put another dart ride in there, whether that be a flying theatre or a simulator-style ride, uh, simulating one of the stories, or it could be a live show. It could be a brand new live show. It could either be uh, one of the books live on stage that's not in an attraction form, or it could be 
um, maybe like a combination of story. Maybe it's a brand new custom story, uh, which is like combining all the different characters, the main characters from the main books, like the Midnight Gang, Rat Burger, Demon Dentist, uh, Gangster Granny, Mr. Stink, Billionaire Boy. You know, it could have like a range of characters, uh, main characters from those books colliding together to create this new story uh, to, to, that, that sort of brings all the characters together. So there's a couple of different routes entertainment wise in terms of uh, that attraction however there is the option of an actual attraction you know the, the, the chance of a flying theatre or a simulator style ride uh, we know that Alton Towers can do stuff really really well they can do um, you know I'd say I call it low budget but high themed attractions because take Black Mirror Labyrinth for example at Thought Park that is a low budget um, in terms of the actual attraction itself, it's just a normal mace, like a mirror mace with a bit of walking in between. So it's like, so on paper, without the theming, it's like a very low budget attraction in terms of the actual attraction type. But when you add the theming on it, it makes it a highly detailed attraction. So what they could do in this building, if they wanted to, and just stick to a one level building, uh, or if they wanted to make it a couple of levels, is maybe they go for something like, um... A, some kind of Black Mirror Labyrinth style attraction, but it's like you're st but a family version where you're like stepping into the David Williams books and you're becoming a character and you're following certain characters around to help them with tasks. It's a very interactive attraction. So I do feel like this will be a very interesting scenario. I think there's other ways you could do this as well. I think that uh, you could do, sort of pay homage to Wobble World in a way and do like an indoor play attraction or an in, some indoor play equipment. Um, but of course, the main reason behind why that I don't think that will happen is because you've obviously got uh, Justin's House Pyromatic Factory in CBBS Land, which is kind of like your indoor playhouse attraction for families and kids. So I think that that's probably less likely because they've already got one down in, in CBBS Land. But I think that some kind of indoor family attraction instead of a live show or a theatre show would be a great uh, alternative to that space. But I think, again, it's a very interesting debate with that particular site. And then finally, attraction area number three on your screen right now is the current site of the Royal Carousel. Now, of course, uh, we know that this is obviously uh, in front of the Twill and Toadstool site, and we know that uh, next to that will be Flavio, or well, is Flavio's Fantastic Fandango, uh, which is their Sizzler attraction. Now, whether that's a permanent attraction or not is, is still plain to see, but I think that they could create a permanent version of Flavio's Fantastic Fandango, whether that be a different ride type or the same ride type, but a more permanent version. Now, obviously that leaves the Royal Carousel. Now, if they move that back to the original location of the old Gallopers Carousel, where that was sort of in the centre of the area kind of kind of thing, if that was still possible, uh, what could you do with the Twilling Toastal Land behind it? And you've got to think, yes, you've got the Flavio's Fantastic Fandango uh, Slizzer attraction in part of that spot, but you've still got loads of area behind it. Now, obviously, I don't think it'll be too big of an attraction, but I like to think of maybe a different flat ride if you move the carousel to a different area of the park, which I don't think is going to happen, but I think it's worth a shot. Now, if they were to move the Royal Carousel to a different part of the area, like the centre of the area where the Galapagos Carousel was, I would like to see them maybe go with what I said could have could replace the driving school if they weren't going to retheme it, which was like a Grandpa's Great Escape themed flying scooter attraction. It's a family attraction. It's it's fun for all ages. It's perfect for the area, and I think it'd be great to see in the UK a like flying scooters in the UK. So you've got one uh, in the Neverland area of Oakwood uh, in Wales, but in terms of here in the United Kingdom, I don't think there's rarely any. So I think that. You know, it'd be nice to see one of those at Alton Towers. I think it's a perfect family attraction for Alton Towers, one of those flying scooters. Uh, if not, I think you could see something different, whether that be a thrilling flat ride or just family ride altogether. And I feel like uh, there's a real opportunity here to, to, to really go for it in terms of theming up the family ride. So I think that Flying Scooters is probably the most likely ride I'd go for, but of course there are others out there. And of course, if you can name any others in your opinion, then please comment them down below and I'd love to read your comments out. But now it's time to share my thoughts about when I see these expanded rides happening and if they will or not. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is looking at the potential for expansion of the world of David Williams in the future of Alton Towers Resort. Now, obviously, there's a lot to digest from this video. Obviously, three different areas, likely, very likely, maybe least likely. 
and I feel like, you know, it should be interesting to see when these seem to take place. Now, when do I think they'll happen? At this early stage, they can change from, from when this video goes up, which is when the time you're watching this. Uh, it can change from now up until we get some more sort of rumours and teases about what Kapark could do for next year. But I think one or two of these could happen next year. I think the driving school rethemed or replaced with a flat ride and the live theatre show, or, uh, um, or maybe, if it's not going to be a dark ride, another dark ride in the theatre space, that it'll be a live show, then I could see that coming for 2022 as well. So I could see both the driving school rethemed and a theatre show in there for 2022 as part of a part wide investment plan for next year. Now, obviously, 2022 at the Alton Towers Resort is still anyone's guess. We heard, you know, rumours and murmurings about, you know, whether Nemesis was going to get a complete overhaul going into next season or whether it would be the season after, so it would be closed throughout next year and then refurbished, ready to open for 2023. Um, or, you know, what was going to happen at all. Obviously, it's operating at current, currently, it's operating now, uh, but we, we, obviously we've heard the rumours now, so we don't know when that's going to go away. Obviously, you've got the Nina Science Lab building in the Alton Town CBeebies land. That's been empty for a good number of years now, a good couple of years now. Uh, we haven't had a brand new CBeebies land attraction for a good two years now. It will be three years next year with, with Peter Rabbit's Hibbity Hop. Uh, the family drop towers uh, but I think that a couple of years without CBeebies Island ride might be enough for Alton Towers to go okay we're gonna add another one in there so I think that side could maybe become like an interactive attraction theme to CBeebies Island so if they were gonna do that and introduce uh, the driving school rethemed or a place with a family ride uh, and a live show in the theatre space the expansion to the World of David Williams area I would see that as a generally good 2022 investment plan and then 2023 could be the focus for maybe the, the, the overhaul nemesis uh, and then obviously a couple of years down the line when we get in 2025, maybe 2026, maybe we'll see S SW, SW9 down the line. So, I mean, Alton Tower's future could be very, very bright. It's interesting to see where this is going to go. Obviously, I think all of us enthusiasts are predicting that, you know, 2022 is going to be a nice investment year, a decent investment year to suggest what we've been through over the last year and a half with pandemic wise um but i think all of us fans can agree 2023 and 2024 are probably the years we need to be looking out for the most 2022 is going to be an exciting year don't get me wrong but 2023 and 2024 will be the biggest years i think sns even said that on, on this channel in the interview i think josh hayes even said it 2023 and 2024 will be the years to watch out for so i think that 2022 if they can if they can introduce a theater show retheme the driving school i don't think they'll replace it so i think if they retheme the driving school add a live show in that world of david williams as well as doing something with CBeebies Land in terms of the Nina Science Lab building with a brand new interactive attraction indoors there. I think that makes a generally great family investment for 2022. And 2023 could be the focus to reopen the, uh, an overhaul of Nemesis and to get it all looking nice and new. So I think that, you know, the next couple of years at Alton Towers should be a mystery and it should be an interesting watch, but I'm quite interested to see what's going to happen. So... There we go, guys. Thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Chow, Kate Lee on the Coast Life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Alton Towers-tastic day.